I want you to look at that clump of trees on that ridge. That is where all the units will converge. You will be spread out in a long line, perhaps a mile, about 15,000 men. All the units converging on that point on the crest of that ridge. We will use all the artillery. And they will center on that point right there. We'll fire every gun they have until the ammunition runs out. When that is done, I will give the order, and you all go in. Gentlemen, I do believe this attack will decide the fate of our country. All the men who have died in the past are with you here today. Howdy viewers, Lance Corbett Joe Harper here, we're doing our combat mission explaining to go bring you another episode in combat mission Cold War. And today we're playing a bugbear scenario of mine between two Fairburns and I've uh, been practicing this one on and off, never really uh, succeeded as the Russian player, but uh, today I've uh, gotten this far, just outside the uh, a uh, Occupy object, which is the uh, main road, the fair barn, the auto barn, and I believe this is the last um, American tank uh, left on the board. <laughs> and you can see uh, I've got uh, quite a few of my own, three, six, uh, nine, and another one uh, coming up uh, behind. Always immobilized, immobilized, another one coming up behind. Uh, Eleven, and uh, I have lost uh, one single T-72, but uh, I think that's a uh, fair price to pay for uh, what looks to be a crucial win on this uh, scenario. So let's just uh, run through the uh, critical turn here. Turn 21, 21 minutes to go, and uh, we'll see what happens. Still operational. Still moving. And we just lost an aircraft. I believe that's the uh, second aircraft we lost in this scenario. And uh, to one T72 so far, and uh, we've kept the uh, BMP ones out of uh, danger's uh, harm. So let's uh, just roll back time, and I'll give you a bit of a rundown on how I got uh, this far back in the tick. Well, we've uh, rewound time to uh, turn 43, 43 minutes to go, and uh, very early in the game. Let me give you a bit of a rundown how I'm. Um, pushing uh, the uh, uh, Russian tanks uh, forward and uh, just see how we're managing uh, this uh, long-range uh, fight. So we'll just run through this turn and I'll talk you uh, through it. On the right side I've got uh, four tanks there just uh, keeping watch. Overwatch, the uh, planes and uh, artillery are uh, coming in. And on the left-hand side I'm moving forward with the uh, vehicles, trying to keep uh, some kind of cover, move a few at a time, overwatched on the uh, right hand side, and uh, overwatched by a few of the uh, vehicles who are not uh, dashing forward on the left hand side. See there's uh, some of our units in the story house of uh, spotted us. We're spotting uh, this tank uh, pretty soon. He's rolling on down the hills. Rolling on down the road. That's a shot. Yes. I believe with the uh, tank uh, getting into that dip and the vehicle being a small target and uh, 
it's being a missile, a rather slow missile, then uh, it uh, take, uh, makes it through the uh, Red Sea Island in Italy. That I think is uh, my approach for the uh, whole scenario is uh, just to uh, there's some very subtle uh, uh, dips in the uh, ground here try to exploit those uh, remain uh, hold down if we can or a small target as we can just to present the uh, top of the turret try to exploit um, some of the folds, very subtle uh, folds in the ground. And we push uh, the uh, left uh, platoon forward uh, a couple of tanks at a time, overwatched by tanks who are not moving on the left and uh, not moving tanks on the right. And as the uh, right side tanks move forward, the uh, tanks on the left uh, do the uh, same thing. Now let's uh, go back to uh, finishing the game. Now viewers, we're back to the uh, 16 minute mark, so 16 uh, minutes to go and uh, I think uh, we've knocked out the uh, tanks and the uh, tow vehicles that the Americans get as reinforcements. We've lost the one uh, T-72 uh, destroyed and we've lost one T-72 uh, immobilized. Two more T-72s are uh, rushing forward and uh, the uh, hammered uh, T-72 is in uh, that region by the uh, platoon HQ. So let's run this forward. Don't know where the American infantry is. Uh, I thought they these houses here. Double artillery coming down on the houses. We'll just crawl our way forward. Make sure we take uh, our shots at any uh, exposed uh, infantry. Any remnants of the uh, American force. No need to uh, be silly and lose vehicles now. Well, that was ironic. We just uh, just lost the vehicle. Steadily driving forward, slow command, making sure they're spotting the enemy all in time to uh, destroy any uh, remnants. Victory screen, Soviet Army total victory. Americans have got 62 men killed, 10 men wounded, 7 tanks lost, 3, or sorry, 4 armored vehicles lost, 3 other vehicles. Russians, 2 men killed, 2 tanks lost, 2 aircraft lost. That's where the map. Well, the, the Russians are on the objective. 1M60, a truck, 2 casualties, none. M113 and a truck, M60 and uh, 14 infantry casualties, a truck, M113 and a uh, M150 uh, tank hunter, M60 A2, and uh, these guys are right at the back, M60 A2 and uh, artillery, two enemy casualties, air power, 
uh, or the Air Observer. Let's find the uh, Air Controller. Here we are, the Air Controller. 23 enemy casualties. That's a lot of the infantry. Two M113s and an M60A2. Where was the uh, this guy? Is the who was destroyed? Got the uh, second uh, M150 uh, tank hunter and its crew. Not many uh, uh, Americans left. Uh, Stinger Red Eye got the uh, MiG-27 Flogger D, and uh, they got uh, one H. Cheeky fellows. Oh, that was a great little scenario. Well, I like finish that one. That bugbear is uh, now out of my system. If you've got a bugbear scenario uh, that you are struggling to get a win on on either side, let me know, and we'll see uh, whether I can uh, get a run through of that and give you a few uh, pointers. But uh, give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.